today. Jesus is here. I'm here. I'm glad I'm saved. If you don't know whether you're saved or not, today is the day to find out. Amen. Glory to God. I hope everybody knows what I'm saved. You know what? He says, not everyone that stands before me today, Lord, will be saved. And I'm kind of, uh, I looked at that over in, uh, in uh, Matthew yesterday. But uh, you think about it. He says, those, there they come. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not cast out demons in thy name? And done all these wonderful works in thy name? And then will I profess to them, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, I never knew you. You know what that means? You never accepted Christ. I sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your entire sin debt, and you never received him. You rejected it all your life. You may have come to church, you may have read your Bible until you just pages are just wore out. But you never received the truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. We are all, every one of us has fallen short of the glory of God. But God still loves us. Amen. He made preparation for all of our sin then, past, present, and future. And I stand in the amazing grace of God. I I'm not worthy of it, Brother Dale. I'm not. And when I see him face to face, I tell him, I'm the world could you love somebody like me. Amen. But he does, Miss Jenny. Unconditional. Amen. Amen. No matter where we're at, what we've done, where we've been, God determines our world, not man. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand this morning as the choir comes. Let's sing Victory in Jesus. We'll sing all three standards. 202, Victory in Jesus. Amen.
And uh, let me just, uh, I want to read something to you. I ran across this yesterday, and what a promise. You know, there's over seven, 8,000 promises in the Bible that God has promised us. Amen. I'm glad God is faithful. Amen. I'm glad He's faithful. You and I, we may break a promise, but God never has. Amen. Ain't that good? But Psalms 37, verse 25, it says, I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Amen. Friends, God is faithful. Amen. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I thank him for that. Good to have you here with us today. You pray for the choir as they sing. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask God's blessings uh, over this service. Father, thank you, in Jesus' name, Lord, we love you today. God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be able to come back to your house, Father. Lord, I pray for the choir tonight, today as they stand and sing. I pray, God, would you just anoint their voices, God. I pray, God, may just a joyful noise, Father, may we send up to you today, Lord. Thank you for each one that's here. God, thank you for those that are visiting with us today. I pray you would be with them and bless them. And Lord, we uh, just in a little while, thank you, Lord, for our, our pastor. And God, thank you that... We're being able to hear him, Father, once again in the pulpit. And God, I ask you that you would anoint him and bless him. Lord, most of all, we pray, God, Father, today, Lord, that there's someone in our midst that does not know you as Lord and Savior. I pray that this will be the day that they will come and make Jesus the Lord of their life. Father, we love you. Holy Spirit, Father, I pray, Lord, you come in the midst of us. Lord, we bind the enemy and all the forces of evil against this place. God, I pray that, Father, people would get help. And Father, I pray, God, your word go out and do that which is accomplished to do. And Lord, we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you can be seated. Amen. Listen to the words of this psalm. Amen. This psalm determines your word. God determines it. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. His heart was broken, mine was mended. Yes. He became sin, now I am clean. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The cross he carried bore my burdens. The nails it held him set me.
stones in his hand. Dale, I don't understand the love. He said, I just, I choose to remember your sin no more, Rob. Amen. I got a book of sin that's so thick that people, you couldn't put it in this church. But I'm saved by the amazing grace. Amen. Nobody loves us like Jesus loves us. Right. Amen. 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 Let's all stand and just welcome Amen. our body to the choir come down the corner. Amen. Amen.
I'm, I, I'm hearing how God is working in people's lives. And uh, how many of y'all know we got to trust Him? Yes. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Amen. Lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways, what? Acknowledge Him, and He'll drag thy paths. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? What a promise that is. So, uh, that's what we have to do. We have to trust Him. There's going to be hard times that comes. But uh, if we know Him as Lord and Savior, the promise, He said, I'll never leave you. I'll That's never right. forsake you. Amen. Right. Ain't that good? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm about mm. to be the preach. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I, I'm thankful for, for how God is moving and how God is working in lives uh, of people right here. And now what we have to do is you got to get all excited and go tell everybody, right, about what Jesus is doing. Amen. How many of y'all know we're His hands and feet today? Jesus has gone back. He's on the right hand of the Father. And we're His disciples. He's left it up to us to go and tell the great things that He's done for us. I wonder, do we have any birthdays this past week? We want to sing to you. Amen. Any, uh, any birthdays this past week? There's one. Let's sing to her. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. I wonder if there's any anniversaries. Did anybody uh, have an anniversary this past week? We want to recognize you and, and sing to you as well. Amen. All right, no anniversaries, amen. Yeah. All right, Roger, who's singing this morning? Michelle. Okay. All right, Sister Michelle, you pray for her as she comes and sings. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's green that's up here. Amen. Bless her, Lord. Yeah, pray for me because I just practiced for the first time this morning. Thank you, man. <laughs>
when you're chasing down a dream Just to watch it disappear When somebody that you love Turns and walks away And they leave you standing here with shattered face You don't have to pick up all the broken pieces You don't have to try to cover up the scars You are the and you can always run to Jesus Just as you are Think of all my faults and all my failures When I consider all the times I've let God down yeah. I am humbled by the grace He has extended yeah. mm. Thank you, Oh, I'm amazed at the mercy I have found Amen. I could never His love on my own Yet every time I come before His throne I stand redeemed by the blood of the Lamb I stand redeemed before the great I Am When He looks at me He sees the nail-scarred hands 
the better you were on earth, the bigger your car is. When a man started crying, Peter said, why are you crying? You was a good man, and you're going to get a big Cadillac. Why are you crying? He said, I'm crying because I see my wife come right by on the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so thankful that he's a saving God. Amen. Yes, he is. Sweet. Thank you, Jesus. This uh, past week, I had an opportunity to win a young man to the Lord. And it means I needed that. Amen. Uh, he went to his grandpa and told us that I need to go to church. I need to get saved. Eleven years, eleven years old. Praise, Praise the Lord. And he, I got up to take my chair back. I was with him back here in the back. His grandma said that he said, "Well, when I was young, he said I just can't quit smiling." Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't that he, good? He packed his Bible in his backpack Monday. Yeah. And his grandpa asked him what he was doing. He said, I'm going to take my Bible to school. Amen. Amen. And he said, I'm going to tell my teacher what happened. Amen. Yeah. You go, boy. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You got your Bibles this morning. I want you to turn with me, if you would, over in the book of Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Yeah. Are you going to let the kids go to children's church? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got any children's church, please? Who's got children's church? You'd like to give the children to show you a child. Amen. Do we? The ladies in the back door. Amen. Bless you. somebody 
Yeah. I mean, a bunch of just children, or teenagers, college students, and people don't care anymore. That's right. Used to, if they wanted to rob a store, they'd rob a store. But now they rob a store and kill a woman behind the cash register. We live in a wicked place. Yes, we do. Now, I'm glad to know there's a way that you can know that you know that you know Amen. you believe in this place. Amen. Amen. That's right. Now, we want to look at the place. Yeah. I'm so glad. Amen. To know I'm in this situation. Yep. It's not heaven. Mm -hmm. It's not earth. It's in the air. And who will be that? Yeah. Well, I want you to understand something. Yeah. This could happen any time now. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Every redeemed soul that is saved will be there. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's right. Now, let me explain something to you. The grave is where our body goes. Yep. And then when the body's laid down. Yeah. And the spirit goes to be with God. Yeah. In a place called paradise. Yes, and then one day, when Jesus comes back, that body will be brought out of the ground. Amen. And it'll be made as he is. Yes, man. I don't know what Jesus looks like. He may look like that. I don't really care. Yeah. That's right. Because I'm gonna be like him. Amen. Amen. And it's right. perfect. Yes, he is. I know one thing. Amen. I'm so happy that I know that I'm going to get a new body. Amen. Well, I'm going to use it too. Amen. I'm going to go find my dad. Yeah. And I'm going to sit there and talk to him for a thousand years after I've been with Jesus for about a million years. Yeah. I'm going to go to the throne. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. And then he says, to those that remain alive, we call it together. Once it's come from the grave. Amen. Right, amen. Yes. And we'll forever be with him. Did you hear that? Amen, brother. Forever. That's a long time. Amen. Yes, it is. I got a doctor's degree in theology. But I still can't explain what forever is. Amen. It just keeps going. Yep. That's right. And we will be with him. Yes, we are. There's a lot of things I want to do when I get to heaven. But it's one main thing is seeing him. That's right. Amen. I tell you all the time, this is all I want. Mm, it's all I want is to be able to hear him say, yeah, Amen. Welcome in. Yeah, that's right. Good and faithful servant. Yeah, yeah, amen. That's, that's right. what I'm going to hear him say. Yes. Yeah. And I hope you do too. Now, we're going to be like an eagle. Yeah. We're going to meet him in the clouds. Amen. Guess what? Ain't nobody out here going to see us except for us. Yeah. In a back. twinkle of an eye. Mm. That's faster than anything. That's right. right. You, can't, you can't understand how fast it is. Mm -hmm. We're going to be changed. I used to work at E.J. Snyder. Yeah. Textile plant. And we would have a machine that we would Roll cloth up on rolls, yeah. and we doff them off onto a, a string pallet there. And I used to think, yeah. I used to dream yeah. about <laughs> those rolls that we had that big around. I wanted Jesus to come back right before I doff one off. Yeah. <laughs> and when he come trying to find me, I want a big old. Big old roll of cars. Yeah. <laughs> and they gonna say I'm an idiot, I'm gone, I'm run away, I've done something. Yeah. And we'll take a whole bunch of them and dock it off. Yeah. And they're gonna remember that. Mm -hmm. Because they, I told them all the time I was working there, and I'm leaving one day. Yeah, that's right, bro. Going Amen. home. Amen. Yeah. And you know what? Amen. I realized in the last year or two yeah. that Bless God. You. Is in control. Amen. You said yes, well, you've been faithful in years, yes, right? And I believe God. I knew God was in control. Mm -hmm. I believe it more and more every day. Yes, He is. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. He performed a miracle on me. Yeah. He did. Amen. He performed a miracle on me. He told me 
when I had my back surgery, that I may not wake up. Yeah. I said, listen to me. Well, I amen. will wake up. Amen. Somewhere. That's right. Either here or in heaven, I'm going to wake up. Amen. And the doctor, yeah. he told me, he said, you need to depend on a higher power. Amen. I said, yes, sir, I do. Amen. That's right. And it, it put me to sleep. Yeah. And I woke up. Amen. Thank God. Amen. I woke up on this side of the turkey. But you know what? When I woke up, he performed my operation. Yeah. And my back before that was in with infection. They looked and tried to find out what it was. It was infection, but they didn't know what kind it was. And then they come in the fifth day I was in the hospital and said, We're trying to figure out what kind of infection you had. Now we're trying to figure out where it went. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Wow. 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 And I put a pig line in and it sent me home with the medicine. Hallelujah. I went home and then I had an operation. Praise Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And my doctor is amazed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is. Go ahead, brother. He said, I can't believe it. Amen. He done surgery and can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, you are doing great. Amen. I said, all by the power of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I yes. believe in miracles. Yes. I believe right. God can give you one. Amen. Amen. Now, I'll, I'll tell you something. I still have Parkinson's disease. And I believe that there's a reason for that. Right. Mm -hmm. God's going to use me. The day I got out of the hospital, I got a call. Mm -hmm. And this preacher said, I want you to come witness to a guy. Yeah. 77 years old with Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. And he's not doing good. Yeah. And he won't listen to us. So I went with him. That was the day I got out of the hospital. I sat down and talked to that man, 77 years old. Guess what? Because I had Parkinson's, he listened to me. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't listen to me if I didn't have Parkinson's. Right. Maybe not, yeah. And he got saved. Amen. Amen. So if it takes Parkinson's for me to witness people, this is only a short period of time now. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm going to get rid of that stuff one day. Yep. Amen. Now Preach I realize brother. something. I have Parkinson's, but it don't have me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Preach, brother. Yeah. Now, listen. Who's going to be there? Yeah. You know, the, the saved people. Amen. First John 5, 13 is the way so they know you're saved. That's right. I've only been saved one time. Amen, preach. I got it. And I know all we're in the little country church. Yeah. I haven't been lost since. Amen. Yeah. I have walked away from my father a few times. Mm -hmm. Oh, more a few times. Me too. Yeah. And, but I never did get his blood out of my veins. That's right. Amen. It's out in the family now. That's right. Yeah. You can lose fellowship with God, but you can never be able to lose sonship. Amen. I believe that. And guess what? I'm going to make that meeting one day. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Whatever God Jesus. wants. Amen. Let me tell you who's going to be there. Saved people. Yes. yes. The people who are asleep right now. Their bodies are asleep in the grave. Yep. Then we, which are remain, would call up. Amen. Never be the same. Right. Who's not going to be there? Mm. Guess what? The unbelievers not going to be there. That's right. If they don't believe in God, they're not going to be there. That's right. There's no other way. It's only one sin to see you hate them. Right. Rejecting Jesus Christ the Savior. Yeah. And thank God I haven't done that. I accept him. Yeah. Amen. And you yes. have to if you say. That's right. But guess what? Who else is going to be there? In a place called hell? Mm. Good people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead, brother. Preach. Good church ever soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Pay the tithes. Give money in special situations. Good people. Yeah. But one day, like it says in the Word, they will say, Lord, Lord, hadn't I prophesied in your name? Yep. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. preaching. Yeah. Had I cast out demons in your name? Mm -hmm. Had I done many wonderful works in your name? 
And God's going to say, depart from me. I what? Once yeah. knew you. Right I never knew you. That's right. I'm I hate to be there. Hmm. See that side. Yeah. That's right. Now, when we're going to the meeting, let me tell you something of the word. Yeah. Matthew 24, 42. Yep. Watch, therefore, yep. for you know not what hour That's right. your Lord doeth come. Yep. It's the next thing on the calendar. Yeah, did you know there ain't nothing else God's got to do before you get to the meeting? It's all done. It's right. all prophecy. Everything's in order. Everything's in line. <clears throat> all you got to do is call his church away. Yep. And that's all that's got to happen. Yeah. You know what? There's a time. Yeah. I asked them. A boy asked me the other day, he said, when do I need to get saved? I said, you need to get saved right before you die. He looked at me, mm -hmm. and he said, right before I die? I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, you know when you're going to die? He said, no. I said, well, I think you need to get saved today. <laughs> yeah. I'm so thankful somebody thought enough of me. Amen. Teach me the word. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. Now, in my father's house are many mansions. Yep. If it were not so, I would have told you. Yes. Amen. I go and prepare a place for you. Yes. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Amen. There's yes. the meeting. And receive you. Unto myself. Yeah. That where I am, you will be also. Yeah. Amen. Lord have mercy. We live in a little bitty house. And Amen. you can't hardly turn around in there. It's a little. It's all right, brother. Amen. And I'm happy with it. I'm not complaining. Amen. I could be without a house. I know a lot of people are. But let me tell you something. One day. Amen. I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time there. Yeah. But one day I'm going to get a match. I ain't never had a match before. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. He's right in the middle of building that thing right there. That's right. Yeah. And it's almost ready. Mm -hmm. And when it gets totally ready, he's going to come back. I can't wait. It's going to be exactly everything I ever dreamed of. Amen. <laughs> it's going to be mine. Title, deed, whatever. Amen. It's in my name. Amen. And it says, people by the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Do you know he thought enough of you sent his only son? Yes, hallelujah. Only son. Amen. And died just for you. If you'd been the only person on earth. That's right. Amen. He would die for you. Yes, he would. He would not die for you. I'm so thankful. Let me tell you something. I ain't always been a preacher. Yeah. I ain't always been a good person. Mm -hmm. But then I found Jesus. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yes. That's right. Come on, preacher. I'm not perfect. Yeah. But my desire. Is to get to that meeting. Yeah. Amen. And God be there. Amen. That's right. And we'll forever be there. Yes. I ain't never rode a horse before. Mm -hmm. Never rode one. But everybody thinks Jesus is a mildly carpenter's son. But he ain't no more. That's right. You read Revelation. He's got. He, he speaks and things happen. That's right. He's got a warrior's body. Yes, he does. And I'm going to be like him. Yeah. And the Bible said we're going to come riding in one day. Amen. We're going to be with him, class. That's right. I'm going to be riding a horse. Yes, sir. 
Amen. I ain't got to worry about bucking me off. Yeah. And he's, he's the right voice for the right time. Amen. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to watch Jesus take care of his evil world. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Amen. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in the world, they won't see him. Yeah. They won't see the meat. They won't know who he is. But we will. That's right. Philippians 3.20 He shall change our vile life that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Amen. Yes. Who we know as we are. Mm -hmm. That's a good part. Things are gonna get better, but it ain't. 
I don't care who the president is, it ain't gonna get no better. Amen. It ain't gonna get no better. Because see, this is all prophesied. Yeah. That's prophesied because it's all laid in line. Yep. Yeah. There's got to be a bad situation going on down here on earth when Jesus comes back. That's right. Mm -hmm. And everybody's against everybody. Yeah. And I've been listening to people talk here lately. And I know of two churches that have set homosexuals. Mm. And listen, don't get me wrong. We love the homosexuals. We don't love the sin. That's right. And they're coming in. And everybody says it's okay. They were born that way. Nope. It's demons. That's right. Amen. We're supposed to love. But we're not supposed to love to get behind the pulpit and preach. That's right. That's exactly right, brother. I think it's get quiet in here. Is this a mess in this church? I'm going to get trouble for that. It's an abomination to God. Listen, it's going to be bad. Amen. And we're going to be gone. Yeah, that's right. Amen. But it's going to be so bad that this guy, which is called the Antichrist, the beast, yeah. is going to have an answer for everything. Yeah, He's going to make the groceries cheap. They might even give gas away, I don't know. And it's such as going to say that people are going to want to die. They can't do it. Yeah, that's right. They can't kill the thing. That's right. Nice. Yeah. Oh, thank God I'm gone. Because I don't want to be a part of that. That's right. So you think it's bad now? Amen. Wow. Get you money, I'll lose more money. Yeah. So. Thank God if you're saved. Amen. Amen. Be here. Right. But then comes all hell. Mm -hmm. The last three and a half years of tribulation period yep. is going to be hell on earth. Yep. Yep. And there's no escaping it. Right. If you're not saved today, please get saved. Amen. Before it's too late. Yes. I tell this story a lot, but it's on my heart. There's two situations in my life. That I wish I had to go back and see if I could do something different. One of them is a young man was on my heart one night. It was Tuesday night and I was so many. God told me to go by that house. And I had somewhere else to go. Yes. So I went my way. Mm. I got a phone call that night. And a man on the other end said, did you hear about all so and so? I said, no, we'll go see him last night. But I had something else to do. He said, you should have went to see him. I said, why? He said, because last night as he slammed his door in his bedroom, he had a gun hanging on the wall. That gun fell off and hit the ground. Shot him right between the eyes. He died. Did you know there's probably blood on my hands? That's right. Because I should have went to see him. I wish I could have it over again if I can. I went to see two twins. I begged him, please. He said, Jesus, what I'm doing. The other one said, I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time. When I get older, I get saved. Guess what? That night, an 18 wheeler t bowling in the driver's door mm -hmm. ran 70 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. He died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if he didn't have time, which I don't think he did, except Jesus, he's in hell today. Mm -hmm. There's no escape. There's no getting better. There's no getting off on good behavior. Hell is a place to shut it. That's right. Yes. The devil's a liar. Yes, he is. Yeah, man. And one day his pants are going to be on fire. Yes, yes. And I can't wait for that day. Amen. Well, let me say this and I'm going to quit. Bless him. The Bible says one day 
God will shed them up. Yes, he will. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God in a bottomless pit full of fire, maggots. Amen. And you know how I say God's going to shed him up? I mean, he's going to give us all a chance. Mm -hmm. To grab that slime of our slew. Say, I want part of shutting you up. You bothered me for years. <laughs> Next. <laughs> and he'll never come back. Right. 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 Tell me that Did you know the Bible says that the worms will be there? Yeah. yeah. You know what that word worm means? Literally maggots. Fire can't destroy them. So while they're there in hell, as bad as it is, with maggots crawling all over them, eating them. And they don't ever disappear. That's right. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to remember every time somebody tried to tell them about Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. It's going to roll back in their memory. Yeah. You read the rich man of Lazarus. He had a memory. Yes, he did. Please go tell my brothers not to come to this place of told me. Amen. Hell, mm. something to shine. Yep, right. I don't know your heart this morning. Mm -hmm. I know you know it. That's right. God knows. How you stand with God? Every head bowed, and every eye closed. Will you stand your feet for me? <coughs> Preacher, I know that I'm saved. <coughs> no, I'm saved. No, I'm born again. Jesus will come back right now. I know I go in. I'm safe. Would you brag on God? Put your hand outside and over Christian this morning. You put your hand down. Preacher, I can't say as I know. Before I spend the time. Preacher, would you pray for me? I'm lost. So I'm God. Mm -hmm. Take your soul and I'm going to come to you and embarrass you. Say, Preacher, pray for me. Anybody right up that back down? I'm not sure this one. Mm -hmm. Did you know those people going to go to hell from church pews? Yep. That's right. I've heard preachers say, and I agree with it. If Jesus comes back, 75% of the church is going to stay. There'll be church in the tribulation period. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that just sat there. Yeah. And we're going to get to heaven with good works. And that happens. Mm -hmm. If you pray for me, anybody. If you're here, I read a paper the other day that said there's two kinds of people in your church. One that talk about it, and one that doesn't. <coughs> and you talk to them later. Yes, All of those Christians don't play. If you just want to thank you for knowing you're going to heaven, so please come. If you're not saved, please come and speak.
You reckon you're going to get to heaven and be surprised who you see there? Mm -hmm. I believe you will. Yeah. Because people judge people down here. That's right. Yeah. Mickey Bonner used to say, I hope your mansion's right next to mine. Because <laughs> my dog barks all the day. <laughs> We have prayer cards up front. If you have a prayer request, fill out the card, put it in the box. Prayer warriors pray with those on Wednesday nights. Uh, the mission jar is up front on the table. Anything you put in that jar supports our 10 missionaries that we have. Um, we have the baby bottles in the back. Thank you, everybody, that's been bringing your bottles back. They are all due back next Sunday. Um, so if you can get those turned in, even if you weren't able to fill them up. If you brought yours in and want to fill up some more, I think there's still maybe six, six or seven back there that still needs um, some money or cash, whatever you want to put in it in there. Um, and again, we collect those by next Sunday and turn them in on Monday, um, February. The newsletter, I think I gave everybody a newsletter. If you didn't get one, uh, we have some more up from the front table. Um, I'm trying to go by memory because I left mine up there. Uh, February 5th is our men's meeting. February 10th is the King's Kids movie night. Thank you. <laughs> uh, then uh, February 12th, um, is uh, we're going to have a baptism and ordination service at 6 p.m. Our monthly meal is going to be on the 19th. Our ladies' meeting is going to be on a Saturday, the 25th. Ladies, that's not going to be here on this premises. It's going to be at Sunshine Nutrition, Sunshine Nutrition 9 p.m. A. A. A.m. Sorry, uh, not, not A.M. Yeah. Five dollars per person. We're going to be doing Zumba. So I hope everybody will come out and participate in that. Um, February 26th, we're going to start our bake sale up. Uh, again, the bake sale, everything that's sold there, will support um, the Pregnancy Resource Center and go for the Walk for Life. And then this month, for Operation Christmas Child, we're collecting bar soap. So if you can bring in bar soap, that would be great. Also, if you brought baby bottles back, I saw some people here, make sure you check off your name that you brought your bottle back. So we'll keep up because in case somebody didn't bring them back, we got to get those bottles from them before by next Sunday because we've got to probably be a Monday. So if you brought them in, please check your name off. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> We're going to have choir practice at 5 o'clock. If you can be here at like 5 till, that'd be great. Uh, we've got our new choir books. Some of the choir members uh, came the other night that could come, and, and uh, we've got them all straightened out. I know y'all saw it this morning, and I appreciate everybody coming. I appreciate my choir, amen. If we didn't have a choir, boy, I'll tell you what, it would be different. And I thank you for your loyalty to the Lord and love for, for Jesus, amen, and do what you do. We thank the Lord for our choir director. Amen. <laughs> Even though he is an idiot. I said, I'll tell you what he does this morning. Call me this morning. He said, I just want to thank you and Cindy for waking me up for the wake up call. My wife, I'll tell you. I'll see you in a little while. Amen. He hung up and he called back. He said, Wait a minute. I asked Cindy before he called back. I said, Did you wake him up? I said, she said, no. I said, I didn't either. <laughs> and he called back and said, oh, I meant, we're going to pray. <laughs> Y'all woke me up. She was seated with my back. If I, I cannot do the alarm on my phone, but it's so me, but I just can't do it. <laughs> Amen. We got some things in an awesome thing. Somebody got a little purple butterfly with a white bow. It wouldn't look good on slaps now, I'll think it's yours. <laughs> That's right. And I got a bracelet. It's a bangle. A what? A bangle bracelet. A bangle bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will claim I'm giving my wife for a birthday. <laughs> I have one more thing I have to plant. Um, usually we have finger foods and stuff on the first and Thursday. Gosh, I can't even talk today. First and third Sundays. Today's the fifth Sunday, but uh, Preacher Gary said that we'll do finger foods tonight. So come back tonight at 6 o'clock, bring finger foods. But if you're in the choir, come back at 5 minutes to 5. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Preacher. Good. Let me preach this morning. Amen. Praise God, brother. It's called by God. It's too thin. 
Uh, I realize that more each day. I got to tell you one thing before we go. I told you one thing several times. <laughs> but I got my class reunions coming up. And how, long, how long has it been since 47 years? 46, 47, one now. I think they can't, can't wait for 50, so there won't be nobody left. <laughs> That's old. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, did you enjoy the truth this morning? Amen. 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 Thank God for the Word of God. Thank God for the truth. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the pastor. And, uh, thank God for him being back in the pulpit and uh, and. Uh, me and him has a lot of special memories together. We actually started preaching uh, yeah. basically the same time. We basically now start calling to preach uh, just a day apart. Amen. So, so God is, and we went different ways, and God brought us back together, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm glad God's still using us Amen. together. Amen. Amen. And uh, are you excited? Amen. Amen. I'm excited about what God's going to do here. Amen. And, and remember. We, we share that scripture in Proverbs where it says there's, where there's no vision, people perish. Right. Amen. I want us to have a vision. Amen. And, and see God do great things. It's not about us, but it's all about Him. Right. Amen. But if we share, if we go and tell the great things that God has done for us, uh, I tell you what, there's going to be rewards in heaven. Um, there's rewards. And uh, I think one of the greatest rewards that you can ever receive is that reward of leading somebody else to Jesus. Amen. So I appreciate y'all being here and continue to pray for our preacher and uh, somebody that can see. Will you mention about uh, February being our Sunday school? I sure will. Uh, February, uh, we're going to try to build our Sunday school back up. So uh, the ladies have, uh, they have uh, promised or they have... Uh, Committed. Committed. Got to get that, some more on the list. But we've we've got to get some more on the list. Yeah. But the whole month of February is going to be try to get people back in Sunday school. So they're going to feed you breakfast before Sunday school. So what time do we need to, uh, need say to be here by 9.30? Uh, that way we can start our Sunday school at 10. Um, so uh, starting next Sunday, uh, come on out to Sunday school and then have a little breakfast. We'll have it at the fellowship hall. And then you'll be able to enjoy Sunday school. Amen. Hey, next Sunday's breakfast take, he is already taken care of. So okay. we need somebody to sign up for all the other Sundays. Okay? All right. Praise the Lord. If somebody brings a cat here this, I've got the possum break on <laughs> Praise the Lord. So what's on the, what's on the menu next, uh, Sunday, Cindy? Breakfast casserole. Breakfast casserole. That sounds good. Amen. So, uh, so you come out and be a part of that. And uh, our, t our teachers, the youth and the kids, these teachers, they work hard. They study all through the week, and, uh, and let's reward them by coming and being a part of Sunday school. And uh, it's a time when you, you really can't, uh, when we preachers up here, you really can't raise your hand and ask questions. But in Sunday school, we learn together. So, uh, so you uh, make that commitment and try to do that. Let's try to build our Sunday school back up. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, Lord, we love you so much. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing here, Lord. Yes, I thank you, Father, thank for you, strengthening uh, Pastor Clinton once again, Father, to preach your word. Lord, I just thank you for those who showed up today. Father, these people showed up. They could have been somewhere else, Father, but they chose to be here, and I'm so thankful for that. Lord, I just pray, Father, for somebody in this building today, Father, who, who have just walked away didn't make that decision to follow your son, I pray, God, Lord, if it be your will, you'll give them another chance. Convict them, Lord, of their sin. Thank you, Father. We love you. Thank you for providing for us, Lord. Keep us safe, Father, till we come back to meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay.